Okay, this is the second video in our tutorial here. Um, we're going to go over how to run, uh, basically how to set up your SSH um, keys within a Mac environment. Um, so first things, log into the Genie portal. Um, pretty simple. We went over that in the last la uh, last video. Come here to profile. Okay, and here you should uh, have this, just like mine. Uh, just was filled with your own information. Come to SSH keys, okay? And you can click on generate and download an SSH key pair. Put in some passphrase. The only requirement of this is that it is five characters long. Pretty easy. Confirm it, same thing. Hit generate SSH private key. Okay, so what that did was it actually generated a public key and a private key for us. Um, the public key and private key are linked, and anything we do in Genie will always require us to have the private key. Um, it's just a form of verification, so nobody can have access to the VMs besides you. Um, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll just download them both. Okay, you don't actually need them both. We're just going to just grab them both. And then in Mac, just launch your terminal. Okay, and from your home directory, you're going to want to, um, well, to get to your home directory first, you can do a CD, and then you're going to do a tilde, okay, so that's going to get you to the home directory, and then you can do a CD dot SSH, okay, so this is a Mac feature, we have a folder already built into our username that um, is made for SSH keys, so in here, we can do a CP, so ls what so i didn't go over this but cd is for change directory okay ls is for list and then now we're going to do cp which is a copy command so what we're going to do is we're going to copy from our downloads folder so in my case let's see where that is in my case that's actually my downloads folder so do tilde forward slash downloads downloads <clears throat> okay and then if you notice here my public key it's called ID underscore genie underscore SSH underscore RSA dot pub okay so we're gonna copy from there and then we're gonna put it into our directory which is tilde forward slash dot SSH okay so that's where we're gonna now you just hit enter and now since we're in the directory if we hit LS list we should see now I have an actual file in here okay you notice the LS before I had nothing so now I'm gonna just hit the up arrow and we're gonna do the same thing just with the private key so this private key is the same thing just without the dot pub okay so now we list we've got two keys in there our public and our private key okay so um what we have to do is, is the private key is the actual one that we care about, okay? It's this one right here. So, just because of the uh, permissions and, and things within um, SSHing, um, we need to give that um, certain permissions. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do a CH mod, okay? And you're going to do 0, 0600, okay? So, that makes it only executable, okay? And we're going to put in here the actual name of your private key okay so the public one is the one that has dot pub okay and the private one is the one without any extension and then you're just gonna hit enter okay so mine went successfully through um, sometimes you get issues with that okay so make sure that um, if you're having an issue try and do a sudo sudo is sudo okay super user um, okay so once that's all set um, you're pretty much ready to go. So um, whenever you're going to run, um, you know, try to SSH into one of your VMs or anything like that, you can actually point to it. Okay, so in order to SSH to anything, you're going to do SSH, and then you need to do minus I. So what that does is it points it to this key we just talked about. Okay, so in our case, it's tilde forward slash dot SSH, right? And then, so that's where it is, and you can even put in here the actual file, the actual private key, and then you're going to hit space, and now you're going to actually put in, you know, for, so for me it will be pblum, and then at some IP address, 
um, you know, this is my username, and then the at sign is at the server. So server name might be genieportal5.com or something. Um, so we'll we'll get into that in the next video when we're actually doing resources and SSHing into them. Um, but for now, we're just going to uh, set up that SSH. Once you're all set with that, um, should be good to go, ready for the next video.